In the Doppler effect, relative motion between the wave source and the observer causes a change in the observed frequency. So let's say we have a car that isn't moving. That car emits a certain frequency of sound and we can imagine those sound waves going out in even waves in every direction. Now let's suppose this car is traveling on the highway. And here we have, down at the bottom of the screen, an observer. This car is still emitting a sound wave, but it's also moving. So as it's emitting sound waves, the wave fronts are crunched together on the front end of the vehicle and they're spread out on the back end. You can see relative to this picture up here where the car is not moving the wave fronts are spaced a certain distance apart. These wave fronts down here are closer. These wave fronts here are further apart. Which means this observer will observe a higher frequency than the one that's actually emitted by the car. Now as the car goes past, it's still emitting the same sound waves. Now our observer will observe a lower frequency because the wave fronts are spread out in the back. Of the Doppler effect, race cars. If you've seen uh, a, a race um, in person or if you've seen it on TV you know that the cars go past each other. The pitch increases as the you and as it goes past the pitch decreases. That's a Doppler effect. Police radar guns operate on the same principle. A certain is emitted by this radar gun. It hits a moving vehicle and comes back and based on the motion of the vehicle the wave that differs slightly from the wave that was emitted and this radar gun can convert that difference in waves into a speed and you can get in trouble for that if you're not careful. Um, dolphins and bats use echolocation the same idea they emit sound waves, those sound waves travel upwards and bounce back, and the waves that bounce back are different slightly from the ones that go out. And the animal can detect the difference between those sound waves and can tell if something large is coming towards or away, how fast. It's really quite remarkable. Another example of the Doppler effect is related to the expansion of the universe. If I up here light from the sun have particular frequencies in particular regions, when we analyze the light from most stars it's very similar to the sun. The pattern that I've shown here is exactly the same, but most stars are slightly shifted at the end of the spectrum. In other words, the pattern is basically the same but it's the whole thing, the whole pattern has been shifted towards red. Well, the only reason that that could be happening is that we, those others, are moving away from each other. This is one of the main supports for the fact that the universe is not static but is expanding. To observe effect, there must be a wave source and a wave observer that are in motion relative to each other. If the source and observer are moving away from each other, the observer will record a frequency that is lower than the emitted frequency. If the two are moving towards one another, the observer will record a frequency higher than the emitted frequency.